Hello everyone. In this video, I want to show you bill of material or BOM. So if you looked at my assembly video, you see that under assembly, there is no bill of material by default. I mean, there is this one, but this one is not active if you are in a single user mode. So you have to take it to the team mode. And one thing I found that can uh, do a lot better job is this extra add-in called Bummer. B-O-M-M-E-R. And so I added that, okay? If you look at my utilities, I went to um, download this and added it. And now uh, this has a little bit more uh, stuff for bill of material as well. So anyways, here I have the um, slider crank assembly that I made in my uh, assembly video. And now the goal is to create what? To create a... A bill of material for that. So uh, here, as I said, you can either go here and click on this bill of material or go to utilities and click on this one. So let's go ahead and click on this. And there we go. This is the bill of material. It brings all of the parts as well as the assembly. You can uh, here. If you click on it, it's not just going to exclude it right there. But in the BOM one, you can just exclude it. And then there are properties here, like the material name, the quantity, the part number. You can add descriptions here, item number, and so on. And you can click on this, and it can what? It can export it for you to an Excel file or CSV file. And uh, under this gear is where you can add or remove some properties. For instance, you can add a thumbnail, a pic small picture, or um, let's say, for instance, um, if there is a, a life cycle or revision or something. So there is not a ton that you can change here. But as I said, if you go to the other one, which is under... Um, the bomber and click on this this has a little bit more flexibility okay so here you see that uh, you can click on anything and you can exclude it if you want right and last time i just excluded the assembly so it's gone i just have these parts and there are part numbers there are descriptions you can add whether you want to buy or make so let's say i'm gonna make all of this and uh, maybe just buy the pin because the pin is too simple and then you can add a link for the vendor of the pin and so on okay and um, so you can edit that and here are the settings you can show excluded components right you can isolate and everything so let's say i okay that here and now um you can go here and you can say export it for me. And if you export that, then here you can, uh, you see there are more stuff that you can export. For instance, here you can say I want the item number, the part number, let's say uh, the description, buy or make, right? Material, order quantity, quantity, anything you want, you can add mass, okay? the name of the vendor and so on okay url and you okay that and if you okay it and export it to a file or external system and you can make it flat or, hi or hierarchical or top level or parts only if you do that you're going to get an excel file like this now here i did not do make and buy a uh, bike uh, so i when i exported this i did not check for make and buy but if you do, you are going to add that extra thing on this column. And you can, of course, add vendor URL and so on. And this is your Excel file bill of material here. Now, you might say, if I buy the pin, how do I add the URL and the vendor and everything, right? So, for instance, let's say I want to do something about this pin, right? So, if I go here, you see there is edit bill of material and edit part property. So, if I click on this and with the pin selected, now I can say, hey, I want to buy this, okay? And then you can go here to the vendor and say, let's say the vendor is Amazon, for instance. Then you can provide a part number or a description or a URL. Let's see, for instance, 
let's say here, this is the vendor you want to buy it from this pin. So you go there and then grab the URL, right? And then uh, add it over here. And if there is any parts number or anything, you can also add that here. Now, this one does not specifically have a part number, but you can add name or anything to it. So here you can see that I have copied the name and for URL, I just made Amazon to not make it very long. And I also added the price. So once that property, everything is all set, I'm going to, and let me close this, I'm going to um, export it. So I go here and then I say export and I pick everything that I need to be exported, right? So whether the part is excluded or not, you can add it even if you want item number, whether you want to make it or buy it, quantity, order, quantity, description, all of those can be their material, right? And then uh, you can go about the mass, you can go about the vendor, URL, number, part number, price, and so on. And you okay it. And then you're gonna save it to an Excel file. Here I have made one, I overwrite it, and then I open it for you here. So you can see that I made this bill of material here. So here we go. Okay, so that is the bill of material and um this is what you have for this assembly so hopefully you learn how to create a bill of material and update it and modify it right and uh, use this uh, bomber bill of material which allows you to edit part properties edit material properties and export it properly thank you so much for your attention i'll see you in the next video